Hey, Ciro. You, it sounds like you're in the jungle. Yeah. But, well, you're in a big party. Maybe, maybe Fernando. <laughs> it's a big party. I hear. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, how are you, Ciro? Everything ready? You're okay? I'm ready for the start the class. Okay. All right. Good. All right, Fernando, how about you? Sandra, how are you? Good evening, Eric. Sir. Good evening, good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is immediately, we're gonna take a moment very quick. We're gonna join our groups. And in the groups, we're just going to take three minutes, three minutes to talk about your day. How was your day today? what happened, what did you do, where did you go, things like that. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, teach. All right, let's do it. Only three minutes. Let's go for it. We can do it. We can do it. Hey, Nadine. All right, so pretty good. We caught up with our day. Yes, any question, any words that you say, I, 
I don't remember how to say this word. Yeah, I didn't remember how to say uh, frenos in English. Brakes. Uh -huh. Brakes. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Thanks. What happened with the brakes? Uh, I told my 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 classmate that my friend had an accident with his motorcycle. Oh. Yeah, and I went to the bit with the hospital to visit him. And uh, uh, he, if he's in the hospital, it's a it's a big accident. Yeah. Not yeah, because he has what to say, costilla in English. Ribs. He has. Uh, I tiene dos costillas rotas. How do you say y... dos? How do you say dos? Two. Okay. Two. Two. ¿Cómo dijo? ¿Cómo se decía? Costilla. Tony Romas. ¿Cómo? <laughs> ¿Cómo dijo? ¿Cómo se decía? Costilla. Tony Romas. Rip. ¿Qué? That's right. Okay. Excellent. Ah, ribs. Okay. Tony Roma's ribs. He has two Ooh. ribs. Uh huh. How do you say quebradas? Quebrar, broke. Broken. All right. Two. So he has two broken ribs. Two broken ah, okay. ribs. He has two broken ribs. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has uh, some. Some. Corpus, like in, the, in his body. Somewhere. And that's it, but he he is good. Okay, okay. Maybe not so good, but hey, <laughs> two broken but, ribs, hey. the motorcycle destroyed his life. in the hospital, life. but he continued with the life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously. I like the attitude, Eric. I like the attitude. Uh, it's okay, he survived. Uh, yeah. it's, it's four yeah. by four. Okay. <laughs> Mala hierba nunca muere, dicen por there you go. There you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. hard, to, hard to kill, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Good. All right. Well, I'm glad. Well, today, guys, what we want to do is we want to finish our unit two. So we're going to start first by watching the videos and practicing. And then if we have a little bit of time at the end of the class, then we're going to use the time to practice speaking, speaking about future plans and the things that we learned. Before we begin, any questions in the platform, any problems, any exercises? Hey, Oscar, today's your first day. I don't remember seeing you, Oscar. I have a problem with the connection. Okay. Last, uh, another day, but uh, uh, today we we talk, talk with the with Tigo, mm -hmm. and maybe we had problem with the 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 connection. But uh, right now it's better. It's better than the other days. Okay, good. So today, so-so, you can connect. Okay. Uh, you listen, okay? Have a... Yes, okay. Okay, good, good. Listen right. better in... Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Okay, good, good. So now we're going to watch, we're going to watch the video and listen. What is the topic of the video? Is if we remember, infinitives infinitive is two plus the verb but today we're going to see also imperatives imperatives and infinitives so let's watch the video and then we're going to practice be sure to turn it on don't forget to dial the hello everyone before you watch the video i want to remind you that imperatives are commands and they don't need a subject also, for giving suggestions, we will use an imperative as well as an infinitive. Stay around for more explanation. Imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Be sure to turn it on. Don't forget to dial the area code. Make sure to hit the end button. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. 
Okay. So as you can see here, all it is is imperatives means give instructions, give orders, like in your job. In your job, their boss or your supervisor or you sometimes have to give instructions or orders. And that's when we use the imperatives. You tell the person what to do and how to do it. That's the idea for giving suggestions or giving instructions. Remember to pay the bill every month. Try not to talk for too long. This is how we'll use imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. When using an imperative, the subject is never mentioned and they always begin with a verb. And as said on the previous explanation, the infinitive is to plus a verb. Now let's think about a situation. These two kids are new to their English class and they say, we don't understand English. So let's give them a suggestion. We can say, study your verbs. But this sounds more like an instruction. So to make it a bit more polite and to actually sound like a suggestion, we may add, make sure to study your verbs. Check at the beginning we have no subject and then a verb, which means it's an imperative. Make sure. Moving forward to our infinitive to study. So when we put an imperative with an infinitive together, we can come up with a great suggestion. We will leave you now with some common expressions we use as imperatives to give suggestions. Be sure, make sure, don't forget, remember, try. Now, those words are the ones that you begin the sentence with. And the idea with those words is to make it easier. That way the person doesn't say, ay, que pesado, right? We don't want the person to think that you are being mean or angry. So to reduce the anger, you use those expressions. So if I say, do your homework, ah, it sounds very angry. But if I say, hey, don't forget to do your homework, ah, now it sounds like a recommendation. That is the function of the expressions. Is that okay? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Remember, try. Let's make examples using these expressions. Be sure to practice with your friends. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework. Try to pronounce properly. Now read these suggestions. Be sure to speak in your native language. Make sure to forget your dictionary. Don't forget to stay quiet in class. Remember to translate into your native language. Try to mispronounce the words. You will agree with me that they are not good suggestions to give an English student. Therefore, we need to add the word not to make them positive suggestions. So the word not will go between the imperative and the infinitive. Now it is your turn. Ready to come up with examples of your own? Try it and write them on our discussion box. Okay. I'm going to go back a little to be sure it's clear. Remember to try. Here, if you, you can have positives, but with no, just make sure, don't forget, and then the activity, okay? Now, if you want to make it a negative, you can put not. Be sure not to speak in your native language. Ah, now you change for speaking in native to the negative form, to not speak in native. So if you're going to use negative is before the word to, always before the word to. So be sure, don't forget, remember, and then not if you want to use the negative. Is that okay? Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to think about many different uh, opinions, suggestions, recommendations. So for example, I'm going to say, ah, what are you going to do uh, to learn English? How can you improve English? How can you have better uh, pronunciation? Uh, so I'm going to tell my partner my recommendations, my opinions, my suggestions. As an example, be sure not to translate the words, okay? Remember to focus in, in using the vocabulary in English. As an example, it's okay? Okay, 
So remember, with your partners, what are we going to do? You are going to give your partners recommendations on how to improve their English and why, okay? So be sure, be sure to speak in English because it helps you improve your fluency and your pronunciation. If you speak with your partners in English, it's going to be easier for you, that's it. So it is tell your partners your opinion, how to improve English and why with details. Okay, let's do it. Tell me, Rosa. Podría explicarnos qué vamos a hacer. Oh, my goodness. Ya muy tarde. <laughs> ya cerramos. Okay, let's see. Let's try one more time. Let's make sure that we are clear. Okay, Eric, what are we doing in the groups? Um, I try to explain you a topic my, uh, to my classmate because he didn't understand you. Okay, okay. Uh, wh what topic are we going to talk about in the group? Uh, about uh, the imperative sentence, how can I how can I say uh, how can I try to to do a sentence with imperative sentence? Okay, okay, it's a good idea. The important that we're going to try with our group, I'm going to put in the chat for everyone to make it easier. That way, it's clear. Okay, so 
uh, we have we want to answer the question okay okay what Can you see the questions in the can? Yeah. I'm gonna help you with all of the questions to make it easier. Okay. Similar like this, imagine you are with your partner and with my partner, we are thinking about tips. We are thinking about ideas, how to improve the English. And I say, I, Nady, your English is so good. Sandra, you have excellent English. What can I do to improve my English? Ah. And make sure to hear the English words. Exactly. This is the example. This is the imperative because the imperative is the instructions is what is necessary to do. Uh, if you listen, Nady didn't say you, Nady only give the instructions, make sure, be sure, remember, focus. This is the idea for the imperatives. You will agree with Okay. If if Nady wants to give me a negative, she's going to use a negative, okay? With not, okay? So let me share the screen so that you can see one more time. Here, here are the different opinions, recommendations, suggestions, instructions what to do to improve your English. It's okay? Yes. So, yes, so okay. Yes. I, 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 I don't understand. I, I understand about the imperative or uh, infinitive, but when, when you use the great suggestions, Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand what what can I uh, formulate the, the the word or the the paragraph. I I don't understand that part. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you for asking. That's great. Thank you for for being honest. The important is you are going to formulate in the way that give your opinion, but in the beginning. In the beginning, you are going to use the expressions that we have. Here, Sandra, can you cook? Do you know how to cook? I survive. Okay. Can can you make uh, can you make chicken? Yes. Yes, Sandra. What is important to remember when you make chicken? Uh, uh, see that the chicken is not red or um, be dirty, Susie. Excellent, excellent. Now only use the expression, Sandra. Use one of these expressions. Uh, be sure the chicken not be not to be dirty. Okay. Or bad cooking. Okay. So so, remember, don't change your sentence. Your sentence the same. Don't change. Only only put the expression in the first example. In your example, you said to see, correct. So is the same, the same. Be sure to see the chicken is not red. Be sure to check the chicken is not dirty. Sandra, you don't change anything. Only put two words, be sure, make sure. 
Don't forget, remember, or try. Okay. It's okay or so so? It, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. All right. So now let's try again. This is the imperatives for recommendations. Is your opinion for food, for cooking, uh, for learning English? Imagine, Eric, I want to look like Captain America. I look want to look like Chris Hemworth. What do I have to do? What is the most important? Sorry, que la escuché cortado. Okay. Eric, I want I want to look like Captain uh, or like I want to look like Thor. I want to look like Thor, like Chris Hemsworth. Oh, okay. Like Chris Hemsworth mm, from the Marvel. But I, I'm very skinny. Oh, he's so skinny. <laughs> what what can I do? Uh, try to to work up. Okay, excellent. Now, Eric, please use the expression and then the the sentence the same. The sentence the same, but begin with the expression. One more time. Repeat. I, I, I said I said try to work up. Correct. Work up. Try to work out. Good, good. But use an expression. The other expression. Any expression. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, remember to work out. Exactly. That is it. Only now is not so is not so hard. Is not so direct. Is is nice with that. Be sure. Make sure. Don't forget. Okay. Or in the case of Eric, is remember. Remember to work out. Is like. Now I feel, oh, it's a, oh, it's a tip, it's a good recommendation. But if Eric only says, okay, it work out, I feel very impactful. That's why it's necessary, the expressions. It's, it's okay now? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Yes. It's clear. Okay, good. So let's try again. Remember, try again and ask your partner questions. For example, I put three questions in the chat. Okay, for example, how can I improve my English? Uh, how can I improve my fluency? What can I do to improve my English? Or other, for example, A. Okay. Uh huh. A, what, what are, uh, I want to make pupusas. What do I need? Ah, remember to, uh, and whatever the instructions. I want to look like Chris Hemsworth. Ah, what the important is, give the opinion with the instructions at the beginning, yes? Okay, let's try one more time. No problem, let's try one more and make sure we use the imperatives with the opinions.
It's okay now. Any questions? No, no. Okay, good, good. That's the most important. The important is not to go fast. The important is that you understand when you use. That is the important part. Now we're going to try together. Here we have the activity to see. So Sandra is going to be number one, Oscar number two, Eric number three, and we're going to have Nadine number four, okay, and Ciro number five, and Rosa number six, and Joseph, 
Josemeth. Josemeth, I think, is number yes, seven. Thank you, yes. Josemeth. Number <laughs> seven. Okay. Okay, Sandra, you ready? Number. Yes. Okay. This is in 2.9, also 2.9. So, what are we talking about? Are we talking about an alarm system, a cell phone, or a laptop computer? So you read and tell me, what is the topic? Try to keep it close to pro protect the screen. It's a laptop computer. Okay, okay, cool. Number two. Oscar, that was you. Creo que no está. And your secret code, cell phone. Cell phone. Oscar, you think it's a cell phone, okay? Number three. Uh, remember to turn in. Turn it off as soon as you come in the door. Uh, alarm system. Okay. Number four. And try not to get it wet or the case may get stuck. stuck. Uh, laptop computer. Okay. Number five. Mm -hmm. You set it time you leave home, the alarm system, alarm system. Good. Number six. Um, remember to recharge the battery before the get a safe phone. Cell phone, okay. And number seven. Be sure to turn it off before bed or call away. Wake up you up. Uh, I think your cell phone. Okay. Let's take a look. Ah, very good. Only one mistake here. When do you write down a secret code? Not for a cell phone, for what? For system alarm. Okay. Alarm system. Alarm system. Alarm system. Okay, exactly. Very good. It's for the alarm system. Good. Any questions? Any vocabulary or pronunciation? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. My classmate, the, the answer is. Question number six, the die pronunciation is. Ah, so the, the expression die is the battery zero. When the battery yes. is zero, yes. is the battery died. My, my classmate, the, the pronunciation is bad. Ah, the pronunciation is die. Mm, okay. Die. Okay. Okay, good. Any other questions? What do you uh, mean stuck? Stuck is, is you cannot move. Is I the, the the button is stuck, is not removed. For example, when you touch the letter H and H continue, this is stuck. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? Wet. What is wet? Wet is with water. For example, when you ah, take right. a shower, your hair is wet. Ah, okay. Mojado. Yes. Right? That's right. Ah, okay. okay. 
All right, good. So now what are we going to do? The last topic for tonight. The last one is reading. We're gonna develop our skills in reading a paragraph for specific information. Here is a paragraph and we have many questions to answer. We have to answer eight questions. So with our partners, we can make this bigger and we can read, or if you prefer, you click in this button and you can open another page. And then also you can make it bigger, okay? So all of these are how the people imagine the life in the year 2020. Woo, it's already old, but is the idea. So you are going to read with your partner and you are going to answer is true or false for the information in the topic. Okay, so with the partner, you are going to read and then check is true or false. Exercise 2.11. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's try. Sarit.
Oh, I see, Fernando, don't worry. I'm going to help you. Rosa, what happened? I put you back to the group. Hey, Eric. Hello. What happened? Terminó el tiempo. Me sacó. Oh. Did you finish? Yep. Yeah, we finished the, the, what, the practice. Oh, okay. All right. Because the other no sé people... Me sacó. Ah. I don't know what happened. Solo a vos? Sí, solo a mí. <laughs> Porque <laughs> mi compañera estaba ahí. Ajá, no, continúa ya. Ajá. Pero literalmente me sacó de su. No me no sacó problem. de la. Ajá. No problem, it's okay. It's okay. okay. Sometimes it happens, the system removes the person, but we'll, we find out. We're okay, going to check. Worry. Yeah, we're going to check together to make sure it's clear. Oh, my class is changing. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's read to make sure that the pronunciation is correct. Who is going to read the first paragraph? Who 
What, what? Who is going to read from people to future? Can I? Okay. Let me a second. Okay. So people used to know more or less how their children would like. And now things are changing too quickly that we don't ever know what our life will be like in a few years. What follows is how spirit see in the future. Very good. Only the pronunciation here. Live. No life. Live. Uh -huh. How children would live. Which... Maybe live. Sure. Okay. Would live. Ah, sorry. Yeah. No problem. Good, good, good. All right. Who is next? Who's going to read the next one? Me, teacher. Okay. You, you are they, they dreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have Elon Agromari pilot, and he is high tech computer. Your car now how to get you home safely. Okay. Good. 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 Safely. Okay, who's number, who's the next paragraph? Can I? Yes. Go ahead. I can, I'm sorry, I can I'm sorry. Platform, <laughs> teacher. My, my microphone was, was off. Ah, okay. <laughs> You have, you have for the kitchen when you get home, you order by, uh, you order groceries by computer an, an hour ago, and they've been delivered. You pay for them before they arrive. The money was automat automatically deduced from your bank account. Nobody use cash anymore. Good. Deducted, deducted, and deducted. and uses, uses. Yes. Okay. Good. Who's the next? Who's deducted. going to read the next one? Uh, me. Okay. Uh, what's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which foods for your body need you your food preparation machine makes you you makes you a salad okay good good the next one yeah hi after lunch you go to the hall to your home office here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute to work anymore. Okay, good, good. The next person? Your, your information screen say that you receive a message from a co-worker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your coworker faces appears on the screen and the translation appears at the bottom. Mm, nice. And the last one? No one. Hi, teacher. Okay. Uh, <laughs> You finish working and go back to your living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future. Okay, good, very good. So now that we reread it, Let's take a look. Is it true you need to or false that you need to pay attention when while driving? It's a false. It's false. 
Okay. Number two, true or false? False. 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 Okay. Number three, people don't use cash anymore? True. True. Mm -hmm. Only bitcoins, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Number four. You usually buy the uh, hamburger or False. pizza for lunch. False. False. Okay. Number five. It's false too. Okay. False. Number six. False. 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 Mm -hmm. False. Number seven. True. 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 And number eight. Oh, false. It's false. Well, let's take a look. I think it's amazing. All of the answers are correct. Very good. It's excellent. Excellent. Now, let's look in the reading. Are there any words that you don't know or you are not sure how to pronounce? No? No. Teacher. What is how? How is here. You go down the hall. It's like the little the little way from one from one room to another room. This is the hall. Sometimes oh, okay. from the bedroom to the living room, for example, people have a little hall. Oh, okay. Any other words or questions? No. 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 Okay. Well then, great. So in that case, as you can see, we finished unit two today. Unit two is complete, okay? This means that in your platform also, you need to make sure that you are complete with unit two because Monday, we are going to begin unit three. Remember, next week we will have a test. And next week we have to do all of unit three and then a test of unit one, two, and three, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Any questions before we go? Or everything no. is clear? No, no, yes. Yes? Everything clear, thanks. Okay, thank you. Then thank you for connecting. Um, I know it's difficult to connect on Friday and you want to go to sleep, you want to go to a party, you want to relax, but Thank you so much, and I ha have a great week, and I see you on Monday. On oh, Monday, right, yeah. See you. See you, see you guys. Right, or, you too. Or see you Monday. See you Monday. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.